What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you guys along with me for my upper body workout. We're going to do a very in-depth training session together, pretty much like you're coming to the gym with me. I'm going to be mic'd up. We're just going to train together and have a good time. And I also am wearing a new workout set today, which you always know it's bound to be a good workout when you have a new fresh fit. You know what I'm saying? Look how cute this is. It's completely perfect lift fit blue. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This little like detailing under the bra, so subtle but so cute. I'm just really obsessed with the color. This is from Camel Fitness. These leggings are literally like the Lululemon Align pant, but for 30 bucks. It's so affordable, but so high quality. Like this whole entire fit is seamless pretty much, except for like this little waistband thing. And I love it. It's so comfortable. I have these leggings in a couple different colors now, and I absolutely love to wear them on upper body day. I do have a code. This isn't sponsored, but I do have a code with Camo Fitness. It's just live fit to save some money. Oh, and I highly recommend. I'm just so excited I had to show you guys. I also got the comfiest freaking set from them, like sweat set. And this is also in the same color, but since it's different fabric, it like shows up slightly different. But oh, this is just the coziest thing, and it's also going to be my new airport fit. It comes with matching joggers. Okay. First step to a pre-workout drive is some good freaking music. And step number two is some sort of fun drinkity drink. I don't have this every time, but I do love me some Oxy Shred. The cams are just way more convenient because they're obviously just like ready to go. Oxy Shred is truly the only pre-workout that I will use. Like truly, I used to never drink pre-workout, but I love this one because it's more mild is how I always describe it. Like there's no harsh crash. There's no itchiness because there's no beta alanine. I don't feel like my heart's beating out of my chest, but there's still caffeine in here. There's still like mood enhancing vitamins in here. So it makes me feel really good. It gives me more energy i feel way more focused as well in the gym it just makes me truly hyper like in the absolute best way without any of the harsh stuff that usually comes with traditional pre-workout so i love this it's really the only one that i use bahama breeze is my truly all-time favorite flavor i feel like i haven't talked about ehp labs on here in so long but still use them and love them code lifted 10 will save you of course so let's pick out a song back to the song oh this has been my go-to daddy yankee <laughs> Oh, that's on driving a super low car in a super snowy area. The car is definitely caught on something. Yeah, I can hear it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, well, I literally ran over a box that was in our driveway. This is not good. That was literally a disaster. I had to turn off the camera, obviously, while we problem solved. Luckily, my brother was home. But this was literally the stupidest story. Like, I live at home. I still live with my family. And so my one of my good friend's dad, who's also my dad's best friend as well, he got my dad a birthday present and he was talking for a freaking week about it trying to get delivered to the house, but it kept getting lost, yada, yada, yada. So there's been this whole freaking conversation about the coffee maker that's been coming to the house for the past week, okay? It finally gets delivered today. He calls me today and he calls my brother. By the time he called me, he was like, I ended up actually getting a hold of Lucas, like, which is my brother. The coffee maker got delivered. It says it got delivered right behind the garage which is just so stupid because what if someone runs over it? But from my understanding, he said, but I already got a hold of your brother and talked to him. He'll like, he takes, he took care of it. He probably already took it inside. So I just totally didn't think about it. I was like, okay, Luke took care of it. It doesn't involve me anymore. So I just wasn't even thinking about the box. I go to leave and I guess my brother never actually moved the box. And so I go to leave and guess what happens? I ran over said coffee maker. And so that was what was stuck in my car, underneath my car. It was literally so stuck. I couldn't drive and like drive over it. It just was stuck. So it was like pinned underneath my car in the road. I would have ran over just like in the center of my car and it would have been completely fine, but because this car is so low, it like was pinning it to the ground and moving with me as I was moving the car. But then my brother came out. Of course, I called my boyfriend on a tizzy because I don't know, I feel like he always knows what's to do. But then luckily my brother was home and he had this little like kind of crowbar or something or to like lift up the car enough. And then I was able to like push it out with the end of a shovel to like push it through. My dad's friend would be like, Ancada, this is exactly what I, like I knew this was exactly going to happen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Never switch on the homies in the day ones They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum And come in, come in, come in, come in Keep it in, come in, come in, come in, come in Keep it in, come in switch on the that I came up with, eh. No new friends with the same old click, eh. Couple old homies went and stabbed me in the back, but it's no love lost. I'll probably bless him with some stacks. That direct deposit levelly. Went from shaking Kool Aid packets to popping bubbly. Went from maxing women for hugs and now they hugging me. Ain't life lovely. Okay, we're gonna get started. I already did my warm up, which is usually just always a foam roll, and then I always have pretty tight shoulders, so I always do what I can to really try to open them up and get them loose and get some blood flow. So I also like to foam roll kind of on the other side, like you guys saw, and then I'll just take some sort of pull or resistance band and just try to open up my shoulders with some good range of motion of just bringing it up and over my head back and forth. And then I also did just a starting set as well with my first exercise. I like to do a warm up set of pretty light weight. Um, it's just a way to gauge where my strength is at for the day again to get some blood pumping and also just getting that mind to muscle connection flowing as well so I only did about eight reps of that and now we're gonna get into our first real working set okay I personally always like to start my upper body workouts which actually I feel like we should rewind for a second I always train upper body just all at once all muscle groups once a week just because my main goal with it is just to maintain my muscle mass I'm doing it just to again maintain strength maintain muscle and just stay healthy um, but I'm not really I don't have any any crazy upper body like physique goals or strength goals or anything like that I honestly do it to be healthy to take care of my body and just to get myself moving so I personally always like to start with back movements as well just because I prefer back and I just find that I'm lifting heavier with back exercises than when I am doing chest movements so this is just a horizontal cable row this is mainly hitting our mid to upper back so I am just using a like v-bar variety of an attachment it's a little bit different but I just find it's most comfortable for my grip my palms are facing in one another, obviously, with the grip, and I'm basically just trying to bring this handle to my belly button. I'm dropping my shoulders away from my ears, so I'm not doing this and bringing the weight in. I'm keeping my shoulder blades down, my shoulders away from my ears, and I'm really trying to squeeze my upper back. Again, bringing that handle to the crease of my hip, to my belly button, and really focusing on that squeeze. You also wanna make sure you're controlling the lowering portion of the movement as well so i'm not going really fast i'm really controlling both the eccentric and the concentric portion of the movement super important oh. i accidentally forgot to turn my mic back on for this clip so we lost all the audio but we're just gonna keep rolling and do a little voiceover so then i went into a lat pull down i did three sets of 12 very similar to what i said for that previous exercise of the seated cable row you want to drop your shoulders away from your ears retracting those shoulder blades back and down to engage our lats and i'm trying to basically drive my elbows down towards the ground sometimes i picture it that i'm like trying to squeeze my sides with my elbows and in order to do that i squeeze my lats and i'm lowering the bar down until it hits the top of my chest so I'm not bringing it down too far where it's kind of on my nipple line I'm stopping right at the top of my chest okay unfortunately my mic was turned off for that whole last segment so I hope you enjoyed that little voiceover that I just did but the other thing I really wanted to say is you want to make sure that you're controlling both portions of the movement like when I'm finishing as well I'm not just like letting my arms shoot up and have the weight bring my hands up I'm constantly trying to resist the weight as well when I'm coming back up and that does so much with just increasing that time under tension for your muscles and just helps with muscle growth it really increases the difficulty as well it's a really important thing that you don't want to cut corners on I'm honestly just still cracking up about how my morning went this morning. I feel like it's just been one of those days that has just been so frustrating and just like little things that have not gone my way. And to be fully honest, it started last night. And I just feel like I've been disappointed with myself and I'm also PMSing, so I'm just like a little bit more irritated and like on edge today. But last night I like wanted to go to bed earlier because I actually have a big thing coming up in a couple of days. So I like really wanted to be in my mindfulness grind. So I wanted to go to bed early last night. That totally didn't happen. I stayed up until like 12.30 on my phone, which it was kind of something for work, but like it was something I didn't need to go down that rabbit hole at that point in time. So I just was kind of bummed that I did that. Quick camera angle change. And so then this morning, 
I wanted to do my morning routine. As you guys know, I always love to do that as well. But then I got caught on my phone again, which I'm usually way more diligent about that, but I just haven't been super disciplined with it. Again, I was technically doing like emails for work. I didn't go on social media. But it still just makes me feel like crap. I feel like when I get up in the morning and I don't actually get out of bed and I'm like do anything on my phone. And I don't know, it just was a frustrating morning, but I still luckily was able to get around to meditating, journaling, and doing my affirmations. So like I was really trying to reframe my mindset and turn the day around, so it helped. But then the whole freaking running over the box situation, it just is one of those days, people, you know? I feel like I tend to gravitate towards this exercise when I'm doing like a mic'd up <laughs> when I'm filming just because I like that it's a little bit more private. Sometimes I don't like feeling like everyone can listen to my conversation with you guys, like no eavesdropping here. But I don't know, I just feel like safe in this little cocoon of the gym here. But so now we're going to do a chest exercise. This is just a normal seated chest press. We're mainly obviously hitting our chesticles, but then also the front of our shoulders. And the whole time I'm keeping my elbows kind of tucked in. So they're kind of just slightly winged out. But again, I'm not bringing them way high up here and putting stress on my shoulders. I'm keeping right here kind of in this range of motion. But that's what's beautiful about the machine. It's kind of doing that for you, keeping you in that range of motion for you. I'm so in love with this set. I think it's so cute. I can't wait to wear it in the summer when I'm actually tan. I will say this does feel like it fits a little bit bigger like than the other ones I have for them. So I definitely would recommend not sizing up if you are looking to get the most recent release of these leggings. Just because I feel like I do feel like there's a little bit more fabric up here than I feel like I remember from the last a few of the other launches. But I keep spending money on jewelry and fine dining. God just blessed me with a rolly, I call it divine timing. Came up out the Honda, the Tessie is self driving. Still in first class, I got goals to fly private. Sweet in every winter, I'm racking up sky mileage. Never switch on the homies in the day once. They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum incoming. Okay, now we're going to do more like isolated exercises. We're just going to do a normal dumbbell lateral raise. Lately, I've been doing decline lateral raises on the cable machine, which is essentially you like lean from the cable and you're doing a normal raise to the side, which I've really been loving those. I figured we could switch it up a little bit. I am doing 15 today. So I'm going to do a mini round of applause. Really, it's only because the 12.5s are being used, but I honestly don't even know how many we're gonna be able to do, so. I'll let you know, but we're gonna do three sets of something. Okay, we'll do three sets of 12. Alrighty, as always, we're gonna finish with the most isolated movements, which is gonna be bicep and tricep work. I personally always like to do them in a superset just because it kind of keeps it a little bit more interesting. Sometimes I kind of get bored. But it just keeps it moving and also keeps my heart rate up. So first exercise is just literally going to be some good old bicep curls with some dumbbells. I am doing a little bit of a rotation actually now that I think about it with my palms. I personally just find it more comfortable. So as I'm lowering, my palms are facing towards my sides, but then as I come up towards my wrist, they rotate up towards the sky. And I'm keeping my elbows in towards my sides so I'm not having them flail out at all. I always pretend like there's a rod running through them so they stay super stationary. And I'm really focusing on squeezing my biceps Ooh, to get the weight up. And then our final exercise, like I said, is going to be a tricep movement. And we're just gonna be doing some good old dips, but with a little bit of a twist, we're going to be having our feet elevated on a little dumbbell. Actually, fun story. When I was in Costa Rica, I was staying in San Jose at like a hotel in between the two waves of my retreat. And the hotel literally had a personal trainer there at like the hotel gym, which I thought was cool. Anyways, he didn't really speak English. I couldn't really speak Spanish super well, but he taught me this because he saw me working out and he was like, you know what, you could do more elevated dips. And so he showed me this and it's actually much harder. I don't like fully know why. I probably just because it increases the range of motion, but it's deadly. So I really just do these for usually like as many reps as possible, but today it's been coming out to be around 20 reps. Come in, come in, come in, keep it in, come in.
I didn't come to the gym yesterday, so I decided to just mesh my two days together and did upper body. Then I also did my 12 to 30 for just some cardio. I feel like this vlog is so like spotty, but I'm back home now, obviously. I'm grubbing on some lunch because I'm starving. And I got sent the cutest, like most fun PR collab ever. It was for Coco Kind's new body care line. And they collabed with Go Methodology, which they, if you don't, not go, they're just methodology, not Go Methodology. That's their Instagram handle, it's just methodology. Methodology, but they're like a luxury nutrition program where they just have like meal prep essentially and they deliver it to your door It's like gluten-free no added sugar or anything like that and like the meat is pretty high quality I've been loving it They sent me like their four-day reset program nutrition program in conjunction with Coco Kind's new body care skincare line So they sent four days worth of meals, which is like so kind and generous and right now i'm having one of their lunches this was their cod crab cakes what was this called so it's obviously more so like a salad kind of like a bowl and it's with wild cod cakes um and toasted sesame butternut squash and it looks so good and it has like a tahini dressing mm. like are you kidding me it looks so good also guys i have news i got an ginger cream <laughs> which if i'm being frank with everyone I did get this from Costco. Hang on, let me switch the camera around. If I'm being honest with everyone, I'm basically like renting this. In my mind, I got it from Costco. And if you don't know, Costco will literally take back anything and everything for returns. So I am definitely planning on just kind of like trialing this, seeing how I like it. And if I feel like I could live without it, I do intend to return it. Because this thing is pretty pricey for what it is. Like, I don't feel like it's a need. It's like very much so I want. So in full transparency, that's what I'm intending to do. If you think I'm a bad person, I'm doing that, whatever. But that's like one of Costco's policies is that they're like super, they'll pretty much take back anything that you want to return. So that was my plan. I'm going to take this, trial it and see how much I like it. If you don't know what the creamy is, you probably have been living under a rock. This was something that went viral on TikTok, like back at the end of summer. And I was like really in the heat of trying to make my acai bowls. I'm obsessed with acai bowls. I love them. And I was like, this would be perfect to finally make like the perfect the texture for my acai bowl so I thought at least and I just saw so many people like making ice cream out of their protein shakes and stuff and like I love sweet things and like I just thought this was so freaking fun so I'm totally like so many months late but it's better late than ever but if you guys have really good creamy recipes that you guys love and you're like Liv you need to try this please comment them down below because I really want to try to experiment experiment with this excuse me as much as possible all right y'all here she is in all her glory i'm definitely going to need to be reading the instruction manual and then it comes with obviously these little containers for you to freeze whatever you're trying to turn into ice cream and then you pop it in there and it can also perfectly add like mix-ins in to whatever your ice cream is so it's literally just like your own home freaking ice cream maker which is so fun like i'm so excited i want to do like a protein shake freeze it use it and then put in like chocolate chips or like chocolate covered almonds trail mix literally anything and then make my own little at home like ice cream but like a little bit healthier so i think what i'm going to do keep it super basic i'm going to try the chocolate peppermint blessed protein powder because it's kind of going to give like mint chocolate chip vibes of course and i'm also going to add in some cacao powder just to make it a little bit more chocolatey because i love chocolate and then i think i'm just going to do honey and leave it at that and mix it with some water, maybe a little bit of milk, and just call it good. Also actually going to add collagen in there. And then some milk. Probably would have been best to like blend this all up first, but I figured since it's just kind of all powder and liquids, I could just use this electric mixer. I feel like there's definitely going to be a learning curve with this, because I feel like I remember when I was seeing so many videos about it, People are having to really test out different methods to like get the right consistency and everything. Honey may be a bad idea, but there's only one way to find out. Oh no, I think it all settled to the bottom. Okay y'all, here goes nothing. I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to share with you guys the results in this video because I just don't have time. I have to wait for this to freeze for 24 hours and this video is going up tomorrow. But I promise you in the next video, I will show you how it turned out. I need to find the perfect spot. This honestly is so old, so that can be thrown away. Here we go. All right, fam, that's everything for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the workout. I'm sending you guys so much love, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.